Hi guys, I'm Mohammed Shahzad. Okay, uh, in this video, we will learn how to add a sand desk to the failover cluster. So, if somebody didn't saw my previous lectures in the list of Windows failover cluster or Windows 2012 server administration, I will fully suggest to go back and uh, walk through that videos so you can have a better idea because this is a series of the videos and if you are star watching from here the old things configuration uh, labs and uh, material you will be not familiar with that okay let's go and uh, move forward so as we know that we have two our um, nodes which we used for a cluster okay one more thing i would like to share with you guys before you know that my this uh, one node was node one was uh, sitting on this esxi another node was sitting on uh, on the second uh, esxi so uh, because these were these two um, virtual machines having a, a different local data stores which was on the separate separate because i don't have any san uh, storage the, so I can mount a LAN. So what I did uh, in my, uh, if you see my free NAS series video, you can learn how to uh, configure a free NAS and then you can mount uh, data store into the size and go with that. So what I did, I, I just uh, down, down exported the virtual machine from here as a, if we go into the, sorry, this one, the two, I just exported as a OVF and then uh, I came on this uh, uh, ESXi and I just uh, deployed as a OVF. So that's why you are looking here a new button, a new uh, in the new and uh, uh, in the name uh, of node second a new because I want both them to on the same data store. The both uh, is now sitting here. And if I saw VM and these two VMs, uh, node one and new is both on a same ESXi, so we can use it as a uh, with the SanDisk because SanDisk is uh, from our free NAS. So during the uh, addition, I uh, why I need both to on the same side because uh, I don't have uh, my uh, data store location of these virtual machines on a say on the on the SAN so both can mount so different different data store that's why we cannot mount rdms so these are was the related to free nas and esxi things if somebody is interested can go back to my other videos of free nas so they can use okay so let's go i already have mounted rdms to these two nodes if i go here in my edit settings so you can see 10 gb uh, drive is added here and also another 10 gb rdm disk is added here so these two the, uh, here also so how to add rdm disk if you want to learn just go back to my free nas uh, video series okay let's go on a node one and here we configured a cluster as we know let's go and walk through again to check a quick uh, reference mind refresh okay here in the role we saw we added FTP and uh, FTP resource is running like uh, the generic service of FTP. Mozilla Firefox is running here. And uh, as of now in the storage, we don't have anything, no disks. Okay, so let's go and uh, uh, our two nodes also, we can see both are online now. Okay, we'll start and check if we have a disk available. First thing we will bring it online. Uh, for example, I will go on my uh, servers here on my server manager and we'll go in tools, computer management and the computer management, I just go into the disk management. Okay, here you can see our one 10 G drive is available. I will just do and bring it online. Let's wait. Online initiate. Okay, it's the basic. Okay, so uh, it is done. And if we go on a second node, 
we'll go computer management you can see disk management sorry disk management and here this one is also another disk and if you want to bring online here it will be offline here okay so uh, let's go and add into our cluster yeah we'll go in desk and we'll try to add a disk and here is available see the 10 GB disk which we just added it's the cluster disk that's it and this disk is available now and if you want to do for further into the resource can I add here so let's go right click more actions and we will see a cluster if you want to share volume on that you can do it and into the micro resource <coughs> this one right click on the row add that's it and this disk is available here now in the and this disk will also be monitored uh, with uh, other node also if we see our owner node is this one so if I right click and uh, move select a node I'll move uh, failover manually failover to the other side let's see this disk is automatically moved to the other node and this is still pending our FTP okay and all good to go and if I go here close this one this one and we'll open our failover manager on node 2 come here in the roles see the owner node is node 2 resources and you can see our drive is here and if you go in <coughs> computers you should see a drive here <coughs> into the storage let's see if there is sign to the FTP we'll go properties okay okay both are okay let's see what is the situation here into the manager computer management disk management Okay, it is not not created a volume yet, not formatted. Okay, so now this one will appear into the okay refresh. Do one more time failover. Best possible node. It will go back to one. Cluster disk is online. Let's see here. Server name also up. Mozilla Firefox up. But let's see if it is it's not pointing here. We should see this test okay drive letter okay capacity 10 10 unknown cluster disk okay let's see what is the situation here into the manager go here computer management disk management we can see this is here okay change the drive letter sign like other 
okay voila okay so it was a drive ladder issue for me full format yes done hopefully it is there see the cluster disk so it was a drive ladder maybe mismatch with this one so you can see the disk is on node one now here is our node one and we can see in the, the disk is here because the owner node is uh, our node one if we see the role here is role on node one and the disk will be here so if i move on the other side right now you can see i'll close this one here we don't have any uh, drive here so what i will do i'll try to do failover again more one more time so you guys can see select a node go to second double click okay let's see the same drive letter you have to choose on the both side yeah that's got the problem so z, z we have to change the same drive letter on uh, c failed and online let's see there will be automatic fixed c okay so fixed so now on the test node so it's better to choose when you're going to farm it on this side or this side sometime you know same drive letter you have to choose here and there so now we can put our files here and this disk will be moving here and there to the clusters so that was the video for today hope you like it and uh, if you like it kindly don't forget to press the like button and also subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for new upcoming videos thank you very much take care bye bye